Hey, it's Kendall and this is 90 Second Church. If you like it, like us on Facebook or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our series in this month leading up to Easter is Hyperlinks. It's a look at Jesus in the Old Testament. I am going through Isaiah 53. Today we're in Isaiah 53 verse 6. Here's what it says. All of us, like sheep, have strayed away. We have left God's paths to follow our own, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquities of us all. Now, what this verse tells us is that our natural bent is to stray, to turn from what is right and good and generous toward what is wrong and corrupt and self-serving. I saw a video of a shepherd shepherd rescuing a sheep who had fallen in a ditch, and as soon as the sheep was free, it ran in a big old circle right back into the ditch. It took 10 seconds, and there it is, a perfect picture of my life. Me in the ditch, God rescues me, and I go right back in. I'm not the only one. You're like that too, and so is everyone else. The Apostle Paul talks about this in Romans chapter 7, when he writes this, I do, I want to do what is good, but I don't. I don't want to do what is wrong, but I do it anyway. Verse 24, oh, what a miserable person I am. Who will free me from this life that is dominated by sin and death? Thank God. The answer is in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Again, Isaiah 53, verse 6, all of us like sheep have strayed away. We have left God's paths to follow our own. Yet the Lord has laid on him, Jesus, the sins of of us all. The Lord laid on him the sins of us all. Now, I don't know about you, but my own sin and straying and pride and selfishness and careless words and and pushing God and others away, that is more than enough. It's more than I want to carry. Now, add to that the guilt and shame and darkness of every sickening thought and word and action of every person who's ever lived. And that That is what God laid on Jesus, who loved us so much that he willingly took it upon himself, bearing our sin on the cross, dying in order to set us free, and then rising from the dead to prove that he actually has the power to set us free. So how do you need to respond to Jesus' act of sacrificial love? Certainly with gratitude and surrender. So today, give yourself to Jesus, who gave himself for you. We'll talk to you soon.